There's someone else that's going to tell me. I don't know what it was. Uh, what was it? What was it? Oh, yeah. Shark! Just kidding. Fast car. Poor Adam. Just let it happen. He got tummy troubles. Just let it happen. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> I feel better. Really? There you go. Hey, Bullet, what you up to? Uh, well, I just got a load back from Home Depot. This is the last of the chicken coop materials that we're going to need. And, uh, so now I'm just kind of putting it on this little utility trailer, fencing trailer that we have. Um, what do we got here? To keep it protected. So this is subflooring uh, three-quarter ply. And um, I was going to go to the local lumber yard, just, or the local lumber store, just because it's uh, closer and be wet, less wasteful on gas. But uh, um, it ended up being Sunday at noon, as is typical, before <laughs> I went to the store. <clears throat> so I decided to go ahead and go to Home Depot. And honestly, glad I did because I found out today that uh, any of this wood, uh, Home Depot marks their wood purple for anything that is, they consider damaged. Um, this is subflooring. Uh, There's the purple. Yeah, subflooring, and um, basically Home Depot will mark anything purple that is. Uh, they consider to be damaged and therefore it's half off when you take it to the register no matter the wood so i did not know that i did know i do now so we ended up getting an even better deal than we anticipated at least for this specific wood so prices will vary so not really going to cover that here just know that it's 50 percent off essentially so what i'm doing is uh I don't know that we're gonna get to, I don't really wanna start building today. We still got a little bit of planning to do, um, but I figure I'll go ahead and get it wrapped up and protected. That way, when we're ready to start building, it'll be it'll be in the right, you know, in the condition we need it to be in. So that's kind of the plan. Um, and then we got, you wanna walk over there? Yeah. So then we got uh, 12 of these from uh, concrete uh, deck blocks is what they're called, or castle blocks, or um, they have so a number of different names shot. for them. Um, and I probably shouldn't have stacked them in the back of a leather seated truck like this. <laughs> That's all right, it's a farm truck. But you do what you do, do what you can. And uh, you did use leather gloves and stuff in order to protect it and keep it off the plastic and try to use blankets. That's why we have blankets in the truck. That and protection, you know, yeah. in case we get started. One of, one of the reasons, yeah. Yeah. Um, but these will give us the supports underneath so the two by six framing that we'll use. So after I get the the four by fours on top of that subfloor plywood stuff or OSB stuff, then uh, we'll take the rest of this new roll of plastic and put it over the top of the, the 20 foot two by sixes. You can go up there and see those down if you want. Yep. We used a 20 foot trailer not long ago to bring home a full unit of uh, this mixed grade 20 foot lumber. These are all 2x6s, so we use this on the on the base of the chicken, the new chicken coop. Um, we're gonna end up doing, uh, I think we said 16 by 20. Something like that, I think. And uh, so it, it will have a, just a massive chicken coop area for a large number of birds. And then we've got all of all the uh, eight foot two by sixes up there. So 20 foot two by sixes and eight foot two by sixes. Soften fascia material that we'll use to eventually fix the house too. But we got to do all this. We've been saying because the new shop is going to go right there, where the chicken, coop, chicken is. coop is. Yeah. Um, so we're just stacking raw materials to time in to get prepared for all of that and uh, get to building. 
hopefully soon. We'll try to call a work work day with the homestead community and get everybody out here for that when the time comes. For now, it's just unloading. Well, let's get it. Let's do it.